Hello everyone, Chairman Zin here, and today I'm showing you how to set up two-factor security with using Google Authenticator and OpenSSH. Now, uh, I've discussed in the past the many advantages of two-factor security. Uh, two-factor security is becoming the new uh, wave of the passwords. Instead of the traditional username and a static password, uh the security industry is going towards two factors so something that you know and then something that you have um, in this case i'm going to show you how to set up using google authenticator um, api uh, and ubuntu we'll go ahead and set up uh, that same functionality for your ssh so um, it adds a, an additional layer of security the one part i will not be able to show you uh, is because they don't have a camera is to show you um, what I'm doing on my cell phone but it's very simple uh, all you practically do is scan a QR code uh, using the Google Authenticator app and then uh, that's pretty much all you do okay so uh, to do this we're just gonna run the following commands uh, I'll paste uh, I'll paste this into the description of my video for uh, for next time if, uh, to kind of make sure that everyone has what I'm typing so just to run over what we're going to do so the very first thing we're going to do is install the library for the Google Authenticator application then we'll have to make some changes to our SSH um, uh, we'll have to make some changes to our SSH um, configuration file We'll be adding a line to the configuration file to require the password access manager uh, to use Google Authenticator. Okay, then we'll have to change our challenge response, which is usually defaulted to no. We'll have to say yes. We'll restart the service, and then um, we should be good to go. So, very first thing we'll do is, like I said, we'll go ahead and install the Authenticator app. So after that, we're going to go ahead and edit our SSH file. You can use whichever text editor you like. I, I personally like Nano. Okay, so all we'll do is just go to the bottom of this, um, go to the bottom of this file and then add the script um, so add the link to the dot so script okay. go ahead control o to save that and then control x to leave that okay. now we'll go to our sshd um, config which is in the etc directory and then under SSH and then there will be a SSHD config okay so sudo nano SSHD config and now let's look through we'll go ahead and look through the file here which now we'll see challenge response authentication Okay, we want to set this to yes. Control O to save. Control X to exit. Okay. Now you can go ahead and restart SSH. Sudo SSH. Uh, sorry, sudo service SSH restart. Now uh, we can type in sudo google authenticator oops excuse me so now you can type in sorry I screwed up there it's google dash authenticator okay. hit enter so this is uh, the very first thing 
Okay, so now it's going to ask me to scan uh, this QR code. So I'm going to do that on my cell phone right now. Just give me a moment while I find the app. There we go. So now once uh, you have that installed or scanned, you'll have a, uh, a six digit code okay? and uh, or from here you're going to see your emergency codes. You definitely want to save this so I usually just copy this like that and then I will paste it, <coughs> I'll paste it here. Okay, so now once you paste uh, the info, you're going to have uh, some, uh, <coughs> some questions. So first thing, do you want me to update your uh, slash dot Google Authenticator? You will say yes. Okay. Do you want to disallow multiple uses the same authentication token? Uh, I would say yes. Okay. Um, basically, uh, this will allow one the code to be used only once within a 30 second window okay now we want a time offset so uh basically what we'll do is uh you have about one minute and 30 seconds for these codes uh to uh, expire so you can bump that up to four minutes uh it's a bit less uh a bit less ex um uh, secure because you're not uh, your code is ex uh, your code is valid a bit longer, but it's it's good on the functionality side. So just say yes. Okay. And do we want to enable rate limiting? So uh, attackers can only try to log in three times every 30 seconds. So say yes. And there we go. We're set up now. So now, what we do is. <coughs> Uh, we can log back into our server and once you see uh, log into your server you're going to see uh, then ask for the verification code okay. so I hope this you found this video informative if you have any questions or comments please do leave them in the video description below and as always please visit my website www.seanmancini.com thank you very much for watching everyone